You may already have a 23mm lens, but have you got the Fujifilm 23 F2 weather resistant? Let's see if you need it. The regulars will know that I've took a look and loved the 23mm f1.4. This 23 f2, yeah, it's not as fast as the 1.4. It's smaller. It's about 180 grams on its own. It's a different design. It looks the part. It's a little bit awkward to get your hand on there if that's of interest to you if you're a street shooter. Now, another thing, if you're a street shooter, I would say this. appreciate it's a little bit controversial, but I'm leaning towards that XT1, XT2 bodies over the X-Pro2. I know this has got the old styling of the range finders, the Leicas and stuff, and it's a fantastic camera. No qualms with that, but I like that screen for street shooting. I was giving this a run for its money out in the streets and I kind of missed the flip up screen of my XT bodies. But that's a whole different topic. Now this looks cool in graphite. Let's just get that straight out there. But the fact that it's light, it's weather resistant and it's pretty fast at a decent price makes it a winner. Well that's that then isn't it? We're going to look at some sample images, just some throwaway stuff, some quick stuff. And I think you'll see that it holds up to the the quality and the buzz that the X100S gave me, maybe gave you. I like the out of focus areas. I like the sharpness in the center. And in fact, it's pretty good all across. Stop down a bit and you've got nothing to pixel peep about either if you're into that kind of business. The lens itself fits nicely. X-Pro2, X-T2 and below those bodies, no problem. Even on your X-A bodies, your XE buddies, that's, that's a no-brainer really. I do like this lens cap they've thrown in, the lens hood itself, and it's worth noting it's a 43mm filter thread if you have the need to throw on a filter. Now frankly for me, with a lens at this range, a 35mm full format equivalent, it's not the kind of thing that I personally need, but if you need filters, Bear that in mind, 43 mil, but that's, that's fine. You can see the lens hood close up there. You can see the lens itself with a nice aperture ring. Nice smooth manual focus in there. And that's all you need to know about the front of the lens. All the way around, super nice metallic finish. This graphite one makes it feel extra metallic. That's all psychology. Anyway, let's take a look at the autofocus. I'll focus there, to there, to there, to there. Let's show you that again. Focus on the wall, focus over there, focus down. One small thing to note, if you're using this out in the streets, the noise shouldn't be a big deal to you. So even though I'm not in a silent situation here, it's fairly irrelevant. Let's take a little look. There's the mic. Listen to this. Not a fair test, but frankly, it's silent anyway. It's weather resistant, so rain, dust, temperature, I think down to 10 degrees. It's light. For me, frankly, it's a winner. But here's the question, this or the 23 1.4? Now that's a question, right? I go for the 1.4, but let me explain why. As a people photographer, weddings, etc., it's all about the bokeh. And this does produce beautiful bokeh, but the extra bokeh, that's where it's at for me. I'm not so interested in it being so silent. Yeah, it's not as clunky, it's smooth. Arguably, it's cheaper even with Brexit. But the 1.4 just gets that edge for me. But if you need the weather resistance, if you need less weight, and if you need that silence, this is a no-brainer. But if you're all about the bokeh, it's the 1.4. If you can't afford it, but you still love bokeh, the two will definitely keep you happy. And that's it.
as short as it needs to be, small and to the point. Let us know what you think of the F2 or the F1.4 if you haven't already done that on the other video. Let us know what you think about the pros and cons. Now I find this fights well past F2, 2.8 with the 1.4. As far as IQ goes, the colour, the contrast, etc. Just seems nice, especially the way I have my JPEG set up. But I want to hear from you, because this is just one man. It's just one view, one opinion. And thank you so much to everybody that subscribed. That's super cool. And that helps me to put out the videos that it seems you guys want to see. Let us know what else you want to see. Anyway, I need to crack on and finish this other video because next I've got to go and do an inspiring talk at Birmingham University. Are they crazy? How am I going to inspire them? Hey, go buy Fuji, buy a Nikon, buy a Canon, get out, use it, enjoy. Of course, there's a lot more to it than that. I'm rambling. I better go. <laughs> Bye. What on earth was that? <laughs> Sorry.